desire to find a life partner and or find that gym and or find that supermarket and or find that appliance that we know is a good fit for us. We have needs, we have wants, we have things that we actually want to do or buy and there'll be different things that actually trigger us to do those things. Would you agree? Let me know in the comments if you've ever had this one thing that your appliance must have or you're not buying it. I want you to think about your business in a similar way and I want you to really imagine that actually in your business there are probably things that you need that somebody else might not need in their business. There are probably things that you want or desire for your business that you've never discussed with anyone else. There'll be different things that motivate you, right? So for example, I use the example of knowing what you want in your partner because that's something that a lot of us can resonate with, right? And um, good afternoon, hope you're well. A lot of us will understand when I say this, sometimes we want a partner that can cook. Sometimes we want a partner that reads a lot. Sometimes we like a partner that likes outdoors, that likes to travel. There'll be different things, won't there, that motivate us. Let me know if you resonate with that via a thumbs up in the comments. And what I'm saying to you today is in the same way you've got certain must-haves, yeah, in your personal life, in your education, in your home development, in your personal development, I want you to start thinking right? Good afternoon, peeps. I want you to start thinking about how that translates in terms of your business. Because the thing is, my definition of success is not going to be the same as everybody else in my industry. I am someone who, if you haven't worked out, I'm very particular about where I show up, the crowds I show up in front of, um, how many people I have on my groups, my programs. But there are some people that perhaps thrive off of limelight and you know it's a very different by the way it's a very different experience if I'm, in a, if, if I'm out in a different setting but in terms of my business I don't want to have a live with like 6,000 people on it I would find it really overwhelming I don't want to have even an event with 6,000 people at it I'd be really overwhelmed so for me I don't want that and actually there are other people who may be in my industry or similar to me that do want that right I'm using that as an example it's a very extreme example but it's just to say to you in the same way that you might know what you want for yourself, for your partner, for your relationship, marriage, education, you've got to understand and be clear on what you want for your business. Because you know what? As soon as you get clear on what you want for your business, nothing else can distract you. It doesn't matter what anyone else is doing. It doesn't matter how anyone else is performing, literally. Um, it doesn't matter how anyone else is creating, you know, this, this highlight reel. What you need to focus on is your success, your wins, what you define as successful, what you define as, you know, things that are important to you. Because what's happening is a lot of us are not being clear. And I've used the example, all right, good evening. I've used the example of, we all know, right, when we find that one or when we find someone we really like or when we find that book we really want to read because we looked on the cover, we think, yeah, this is going to be a good read or that movie. You know, you go to the cinema to watch a film or you will go on Netflix. You've got certain categories that you will not watch films in because it's not your type of tea. Yeah. But then there'll be other people that will absolutely love those films. Yeah. Give me a thumbs up if that made sense. So in the same way, I want you today to really think about what you want for your business and be honest with yourself. Because trust me, there is no form of disruption or distraction or success of any other person that should be distracting you from your mission if you're clear of what your mission is you see if you're somebody that is very easily deflated by another person's wins you're someone that can't celebrate others you're someone who perhaps finds it very difficult to work on yourself but you're always pointing out what other people are doing we've got a problem as business owners we need to be responsible first of all to understand what we want secondly to make sure that we are actually executing enough to ensure that we are closer to what we want day by day. And what I see quite a lot is not even imposter syndrome, but a lot of business owners are not even clear on what they want. So they get distracted by what everyone else is doing. And then they, then they feel like they haven't achieved anything. Keep on course, know what you want. And in the same way that you might say, oh, my man's got to have this, or my woman's got to have this, or my school for my child has got to have this, and it can't have this, have the same standards for your business and define success on your terms. Because once you do that, You'll stay on course and you can measure your success by what you set out to do. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing. That's going to slow you right down. And sometimes people in your newsfeed could be slowing you down. So you need to unfollow them, 
yeah, or put them on mute, whatever you feel to do, but don't let anyone slow you down. You see, as we wrap up 2021, you should be getting stronger and stronger. Your mojo should be coming back because for many of us, we are now wrapping up this year after having a really tough few months. Personally, I've had a really good year and a half, even through the pandemic. An exceptionally good year, actually. But I'm just saying, if you're watching this now, or you watch the replay, and if you watch the replay, let me know that you've watched it. Please do, yeah? Just be mindful of where you're putting your energy. Too, much of, too many of us are putting our energy into other things, other people, others in our industry, you know, and there's nothing wrong with being aware of what's going on, but just don't let that distract you. Because you can do what you want to do if you stay focused on what you are here to do. But if you're going to make other people and what they're doing distract you, then don't be surprised when your results are not coming in. Okay? And that's all I'm going to say to you today on this fine Sunday. Let me know if this resonated with you. Let me know via the comments. I'm going to post this one on YouTube. So if you want to go over to YouTube and watch it from the beginning, you can. But basically, I'm saying in the same way that you've got standards about your life partner or the gym you're going to sign up to or your household appliances that you're going to buy. It must have this, this and this. It must do this, this and this. I want you to set the same standards for yourself. Because this is your time and some of you need to reclaim your marketing mojo and how you're positioning yourself as brands rather than worrying about what everyone else is doing because there's only one person that can do what you're doing right now and that's you. But if you're going to be worried about, oh, she's doing and oh, he's doing, you're never going to go as far as you want to go. Okay, so keep that in mind. Don't forget to check out my courses coming up. For those of you that want to snap back, maybe you need that kick, that injection, my 12 week Get Your Marketing Mojo Back program is online you can buy it right now and we will work together for 12 weeks all right so make sure you check that out and if you need me you know that hashtag is ask i2m take care bye for now